guys and welcome back to another sleeping um so this is our joy and i actually kind of really kind of really enjoying you know it's i like the colors these are like i have like some new favorite color combos like my color my favorite color combo is usually like hot pink like fuchsia magenta and purple and like dark purple but i've had like a this past few months a few new color combos i like which are blue and orange which are complementary colors so of course they look good and i've been liking teal and either orange or teal and yellow like this one well this one is like teal orange and yellow which is something i like like i just said so yeah, I really enjoyed the colors in this drawing. I like um, everything about this drawing. I like the tattoos, I like the pose, I like everything. So all in all, a drawing I really enjoy. Um, so like, what's up, house life? I'm just here watching all Cartoon Network cartoon cartoons while I edit this video, while I play a game because my brain works like that. Either I do three things at the same time or I do nothing. I can't just, you know, do one thing. I need to do like five things at the same time. So my brain is like doing so many things that it doesn't get distracted. So that's fun. Um, I think that by this point my tutorial went up. I wasn't sure. I'm still not sure if I'm going to upload that tutorial. It's like an hour and 15 minutes long and it's just me explaining how to make a thumbnail. Uh, not a thumbnail. Uh, how I edit my speed paints. And it's just so long. I go into like every single detail of how I edited speed paint and how I make a thumbnail and how to record this audio so it ended up being so long. So I have another idea for a tutorial and it just made me think about like drawing tutorials in general because I see a lot of drawing tutorials that are like how to draw lips, how to draw hands, how to draw eyes. But if you watch the tutorial and it's this like a almost in general most art tutorials I see is like you're like the person that's teaching you is teaching you how they do it in their style it's not like a real anatomy lesson like you're not learning like hyper realistic eyes and hyper realistic bodies and all that you're just learning how to draw the person's style like how they do it so I never understood why they name it something like how to draw eyes and not like how I draw eyes because it just feels like um, most art tutorials are just like how everyone does it in their own style. I'm not like trying to shade anyone or anything like that. I just think it's weird because when I see something saying like how to draw hands, I think about, you know, like anatomically correct hands. I think about like, you know, using real models and all that. But in, then you go in and it's just like, anime hands and I'm like how this person draws the hand and I'm like well yeah that's cool and all but I probably wouldn't draw hands like that because that's not in my art style you know what I mean so anyways all of this weird art tutorial hand ran is because I want to um I want to make a tutorial on how I draw eyes because that's usually my most requested tutorial on Instagram is how I like my eye drawing technique and I'm thinking like I want to focus it more on like not how to draw or how I draw eyes in general because I feel like there are a million tutorials in that but more like um, the focus to be how to create diversity in faces with eye shapes and like using geometric f figures or shapes to um, create your eyes and how you can use that to create like a cohesive face like if you do round eyes then you do round nose round mouth round face or you can mix and match into like a round eyes and a triangle nose and then like that you start creating face variety because i think i have a style that like does not suffer from same face syndrome or whatever you want to call that you know how some artists just all of their drawings have the same faces and they're all different characters I personally don't like that so I always um, move away and try to make um, my eye shapes different my nose shapes different just like trying to vary all my faces as much as possible 
so that they all look like their own unique characters and it's hard sometimes like sometimes I do a drawing and it just looks like another character and that's fine but yeah I wanted to show like cause I, I've always had like I haven't taught art like I'm no professional but I have like given tips like IRL to my friends or like people I know or just random people in general and I always tell them like my secret technique my super secret technique to draw art is that I just draw shapes and from the shapes I draw everything so like if you see how I completely like if I were to take one of my drawings and make it like the most bare bones like the simp most simplistic sketch it would all be like shapes like ovals and triangles and rectangles so I kind of want to go in that direction when it comes to eyes because I have like three or four maybe five um, eye shapes I do which are like a circle an oval slash diamond not the slash diamond slash almond um, a triangle and a rectangle so that's like four shapes maybe I have more and I'm just not remembering off the top of my head so if that's something that sounds interesting let me know and it's probably coming in the following weeks because like those tutorials they take like a while to record I have to like sit down and talk and talk while I'm drawing because I know some people draw and then they record a voiceover I don't work like that that's not how I work I need to do it at like draw as I talk and explain things because if I do the the drawing first and then I have to watch it bad and like narrate what I was doing I just don't know what I'm doing I I need to be in that state of mind I'll just forget everything and like if I did something for a specific reason I won't remember that in the future it's just not how my brain works so they take time I have to you know sit down work you know have it, the speed paint tutorial which was way simpler because I wasn't drawing I was just editing like the final result is one hour and 15 minutes but the whole footage is like a good three hours or four hours um, and that's not counting the fact that I had to stop recording you know when I was downloading stuff or I was um, rendering or researching some stuff that I needed for the tutorial so it was like an afternoon or a night. I think it was more of a night. I have no concept of time. Hashtag tam time boy. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just need like to get a good chunk of time free where I like don't need to do anything. And I know nobody's gonna be like talking to me or bothering me or I know the, the speed paint tutorial, like my mom and my brother were the room next to mine and they were so loud and you can totally hear them watching tv but i if i didn't do it at that moment i wouldn't have done it or it would have been done way in the future because that was like a chunk of time i had to do that that it was just ideal like they were like if they're together my mom and really they're together they won't bother me because like my mom only bothers me when she feels alone and she wants company <laughs> that sounds horrible but you know she wants me to play uno i got her an uno and We've been playing a lot. I, we, I haven't played yesterday or today, and she is like saying that I have abandoned her. But I have just had a lot to do, so I haven't been able to play with her. But I think tomorrow I'm gonna dedicate it to her. And then also, I got my niece Animal Crossing, and whenever she plays, she's like, Come over to my island. And I can't say no to her because I gave her, I paid $60 for her to play, so I need to play with her. So, you know, it's just mm, a lot. And I can just get into like how annoying it is to play Uno with my mother. But this is already nine minutes long. And I'm telling you, if I start talking about how annoying my mom is playing Uno, this will be like a 20 minute video because holy shit, it's been like a week and she still doesn't understand most of the rules. And she still forgets to um, say Uno when she has one card. And she gets very pissed and she says, I do it on purpose. Like, she just doesn't say Uno and I can give her time. Sometimes I look at her and I stare at her for a good 10 seconds and she doesn't know why I'm staring at her. So I just go like, Uno. So, okay, see, I'm getting into it and that's a bad idea. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, 
if you want the tutorial, let me know. I'm probably going to do it anyways because I have the idea floating in my head. And when I have an idea floating in my head, I usually just want to do it. Like I have this idea floating in my head that I wanted to um, just do a separate TikTok where I do my makeup. And I think I'm going to do it because it's, it's in my head and I need to do it and see how bad it looks and then decide if I'm going to post it or not. But yeah, um, let me know and let me know if there's any other tutorials. I said that in the tutorial video, but if there's any other tutorials by me you're interested, let me know. And I think that's all I had to say for today. Hope you enjoyed this speed paint. Hope your quarantine time or whatever you're doing has been going smooth and well. And your mental health is good and you're keeping yourself hydrated and it's okay if you are not being productive and it's okay if you haven't learned anything new it's gonna be May um, or it's probably May when this is posted oh shit well see you in May bye